Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's the end of the season and with it, time to plan for that winter project. It was early in 2022 when I first found out about Antidote. This is a small boutique Polish brand that makes some rather unique bikes and frames. Thanks to my friends at bikecomponents.ca, I have in front of me a wood sprite, their trail bike. So why don't we take a closer look at this and see what it is about. And one thing that completely blew me away from the get-go was definitely the finish of this frame. As you take it out of the box, and especially in good daylight, this looks like the most expensive paint job that I've ever seen, not only on a bike, but probably even on a car. And not only that they offer lifetime warranty for their frames, but the quality of their processes is obvious, especially when you see the frame just clear coated like this one. Not only that they provide a few color options and finishes to choose from, but they allow you to order a completely custom bike. And this is one of those. This is the client performance sky is the limit option and it's supposed to resemble a Bugatti red. And you see it here over that raw carbon with the clear coat. By the way, this little plaque that you see on the down tube is, guess what? This is the serial number, guys. You also have the antidote branding on the top tube as well as the bottom of the down tube of the bike. You're gonna see the branding also here on the chain stay and you see that rubber protection that goes pretty much the length of it should keep it nice and quiet it's a ribbed type of design that's being used by many companies these days pretty much everything on the bike is made out of carbon including this little shock fender that's installed from the factory the only aluminum pieces have to do with the linkages here and also the aluminum insert that you see here for the threaded bottom bracket iscg tabs available as well and as we move up you're gonna see this proprietary antidote suspension system that has been adapted for this shorter travel 29er. Not only that the Fox shock is installed here behind the seat tube, but it also attaches directly to the chain stays. They adapted this suspension system from their FDS, the suspension that they use with their longer travel bikes. And this is called Smart FDS or floating damping system. This is supposed to give us 135 millimeter of rear travel and it should be used with either a 140 or 150 fork. You have head tube openings for your cables running through the down tube and then you're gonna see these openings here at the bottom. The bike doesn't run the cables on top of the chain stays. Cables will come underneath the bottom bracket. They would re-enter the chain stays and then come out on the left and right for the brake and your shifter. The huge majority of the bikes that I used as of late have an integrated headset. That's not the case with these. You gotta press in the cups for the headset for these frames. So look for the ZS types. This is a tapered inch and one eight inch and a half head tube. In the front triangle, there is plenty of room to install a full size water bottle. As for the two bolts for the water bottle cage, they are made out of titanium. All these frames provide you with a continuous seat tube that allow you to insert a pretty long dropper post. You can see this seat post collar, which is made in house. Very nice finish on all the aluminum pieces. As for how long your dropper insertion can be, so I would say at least 35, 36 centimeters insertion for your dropper, which is really good. Frames accept the 30.9 millimeter seat tube and you can see that really interesting integration of that rear shock. This frame was ordered with an air shock but you can also install coil shocks in the space available here. At the back of the seat tube you're going to see the size of your frame. This is a large, they have medium and XL available as well. You also see that they use what's called Vectran. If you go on their website under the tech zone, you can read more about this. You can also see that all the links are made out of 7075 alloy and this is handcrafted in Poland. Talk about frame sizes, medium, large and extra large and all these frames 
have the same length of chain stay 450 millimeters and they are boosted so 148 millimeter rear spacing this is a boost frame but antidote specifies both 52 and 55 millimeters for the chain line i assume that is because in the back of this frame you can fit up to a 2.6 inch tire and by running a 55 millimeter chain line you can have more clearance for that wider tire you can fit over here and given that clearance for the rear tire their maximum chain ring is 34 teeth no more post mount brake adapter for 180 millimeters 203 available as well and you can see attention to details you have those little set screws just to make sure that your retaining bolts don't come undone so again amazing amazing quality and attention to detail on this frame the geometry of this 29er antidote wood sprite is nothing too extreme however if you go on their website you're going to see how they talk about the golden ratio geometry whereas the front end and the rear end are way more balanced compared to the current geometry trends otherwise you're going to have a reach of 485 for this large 65 and a half degrees angle head angle and effective 76.6 c tube angle so again nothing too extreme but i would suggest to take a look at their website and read about that golden ratio geometry wood spray was designed to be a stable fast charging good pedaling trail platform and that is why low weight wasn't necessarily their main goal with the dropper post housing worth of 50 grams installed we're talking about 3450 grams for the frame that is 7.6 pounds and that is with all the hardware and the rear shock installed so there you have it great design amazing quality and now available in canada what's not to like take a look at the description of the video for more information check out bikecomponents.ca if you want to buy one of these as for my video let me know if you like this and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time hope to see you folks on the trails cheers guys cheers